After going out with a freak injury, everybody thought Taco Fall's NBA career was over. But he proved everybody wrong. He hit the gym hard, started working on his shots, and yet again solidified his spot as the GOAT of basketball history. And with this hard work and perseverance, Taco Fall was able to become the fastest and best shooting player in the NBA. See the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go. All right, so we got Taco Fall in NBA 2K20 My League right now. Of course, we updated his three-point shot and his speed. So now he's not only the best shooter in the entire NBA, but he is also the fastest player in the NBA. All 99 speed and everything like that, like you saw earlier. Uh, we got him on the Celtic. He's now actually the top player on the Celtics and 89 overall, one above Kemba Walker. And now the Celtics team is looking very, very powerful, especially in NBA 2K. I mean, you got a great point guard. We got Taco Fall, an OP center now. When we got that that speed and that shooting, I'm gonna. it's gonna be interesting to see how good he can do. We're gonna come over to coaching here and we're actually going to put Taco Fall as our first scoring option. And we're gonna play through Taco. And I also wanna play at a fast pace. I wanna try to get as many shots up as possible for Taco and see what kind of damage he can do in the NBA. Let's just simulate through the season. I was really hoping that Taco Fall was gonna win MVP in the season here, but unfortunately he did not. Uh, doesn't even get rookie of the year, which is a little weird. Um, I think he did a little better than Zion. I mean, we got to check out his stats still, but I checked midway through the season. He was doing pretty decently. All NBA first team, not on the first team. Taco ain't on the third team. So Taco Fall not making any of the all NBA teams, which is a little unfortunate, but he does make that all rookie first team. Of course, this is his rookie season. He's actually 24 years of age. Uh, so in terms of rookies, he's actually a lot older than most players he's up to a 91 overall pretty nice um i think his rebounding went up definitely need that rebounding to to keep going up there and as long as that uh, that that shooting stays the same i think taco will do pretty good big reveal now player stats let's see how good taco fall did and okay not as good as i thought we were playing through him the entire season our main scorer um he didn't score as much as i would have hoped for but of course he got kemba on the team he did put up 23 points per game, 8.6 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks per game. And then check this out, his field goal percentage and three-point percentage is absolutely insane. 51% and 44% from the three-point line. The only bad thing about Taco is that his jump shot is awful. And, and he could be doing even better if he had a better jump shot. Celtics are going to get the fourth seed in the East, though. Let's see if they could win a championship and taco can get this finals mvp otherwise we're gonna go through another season until taco wins and championship and hopefully an mvp coming up the celtics are down three to two and they get eliminated in the first round that is very unfortunate taco not able to do it for the Celtics. He only put up 11 and 6. Before we do simulate the rest of Taco's career, I want to show you just how overpowered he is by actually using Taco Fall. How overpowered he is with 99 speed and 99 shooting. So we should win that tip off pretty easily right there. And then check this out. We can run the pick and fade with Taco Fall. Give it to him. Pop that. And that's a perfect release. To have a center that's seven foot six and can shoot just as good as Stephen Curry, 
and nobody will be able to block him. And then we can also go ahead and just give Taco the ball, run point, because he is insanely fast, step back, and it is just cash. Then look at this, I'm gonna try to bait, I'm gonna try to bait them into passing to uh, Zubak down low. Why, that's a brick, we got the easy rebound. And then on the fast break here, we just run past everybody and get the easy bucket. I mean, giving a seven foot six player gives them way more speed than like a six foot three player just because their strides are so much bigger. They end up covering a lot, a lot more space in a lot quicker of a time. Step back right there. And that is cash. So I'm thinking Taco with this 99 speed, 99 shooting, he should have one of the greatest NBA careers in the history of the NBA. But let's find out. We are in 2024 now. We finally got Taco Fell back in the playoffs. Um, in terms of the Hawks, he's not really a star player anymore. Trey Young has kind of taken over that role. And Taco Fall is kind of that secondary guy. So he's not getting any MVP trophies or anything like that. Not doing too, too crazy. But he's still a really good player. Hawks are in the playoffs right here. Up 1-0. Oh, they take a 2-1 lead. A 3-1 lead. The Pelicans actually win another game. So 3-2 now for the Hawks. And the Hawks finally win their final game. 4-2 victory over the Pelicans. And Trey Young is going to be your finals MVP. So it's not looking like Taco Falls ever is going to be the star player of a team. I mean, he's super good. Uh, same with the rest of the team. You got John Collins, DeAndre Hunter all doing very well as well. Everybody's potential is like an A+. Plus. It just, these 2K simulations are kind of crazy. They do end up winning a championship though. Um, but I'll see you guys again in Taco Falls retirement. So I want to see if he'll end up winning some more championships and if he gets any other awards. We are now in the year 2035 and Taco Fall is finally retiring from the NBA. He is 39 years old and he played 15 years in the league. So a very nice long career, but he honestly did not do the best in terms of achievements. We actually go over to his award history. He won that one NBA championship back in 2024. He was a nine time all-star, which is very impressive. He made the all NBA second team once, the third team once, all defense second team once, and also he was on the first team all rookie team. Um, so pretty decent in terms of all-star games, that one championship. But I don't think he's going to be making the Hall of Fame just because he didn't really get any awards during any of the seasons and he never made that All-NBA first team. Going over to his career stats, I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. He averaged 20 points per game throughout his entire career and 12.3 rebounds, which is actually pretty decent. He shot 48.4% from field goal. 42% from three and 96% from the free throw line. Uh, so his percentages are absolutely insane. He had 26,000 career points, 16,000 career rebounds. His best year for scoring was actually one of his first years, his third year in the season with 24.6 points per game on the Atlanta Hawks. He's with the Celtics for one season the Hawks for a few seasons, and then he was also on Houston. In his best rebounding season, he had 15.8 rebounds per game. Uh, so in terms of his total points in his career, he's actually 48th in NBA history, What is, which is not too bad at all. He never really dropped a ton in a single season, but he's very consistent throughout his entire NBA career. He's also 18th in NBA history for total three-pointers made in a career. And then for total rebounds in his career, he's actually 12th in the league. So in terms of some of these records, he did very well on the leaderboards. And then also he made it on for blocks, uh, 17th all time for total blocks in his NBA career. So a pretty decent career for Taco Fall. I thought he would have done a little better. I thought he would have been the greatest player of all time. Six foot six, almost six foot seven. He's the fastest player in the NBA and also the best shooter in the entire NBA. 
and he still wasn't able to be the league's most dominant player. Never won an MVP, never won any Defensive Player of the Year, never even made the All-NBA First Team, but he had pretty consistent numbers throughout his career. He didn't play as long as some other players just because he got drafted into the league after playing four years in college. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, this has been your boy, Smickle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money.